So like the type of person that I am, I like to read different books about different subjects and take in as much information as possible, um, valuable, true information that I can use to my benefit. And that was one of the books that that like critically helped me realize how important relationships are and like how, what drives people or what motivates them to be able to like like everything everything uh, that happens in business is based on relationships. So like for you was that something that you naturally just said I'm going to start talking to people or were you are you also like a bookworm or how do you what new information do you bring in to be able to change your the way you approach things? That's a very good question. <laughs> so I yes, I I've always been a reader since I was young. When I was much younger, I was reading a lot of fiction, right? And then as I got older and I wanted to actually develop my character and myself, I started getting inspiration from a lot of nonfiction, mm. right? A lot of communication books, a lot of psychology books. Like the book you just mentioned, How to Win Friends and Influence People, I read that probably five, six times. Really? Right. Damn it. I, I got to go back over it. I only right. read it once. <laughs> yeah, and like I had so many things underlined and it, it made perfect sense, right? Like everyone wants to f have that feeling of importance. Right, I, that was like the main takeaway I got from that book. So showing people respect, right? It, it sounds common sense, but mm -hmm. most people, when you talk to them, they only talk about themselves. Exactly. Right, instead of putting the attention on them. Like, nobody cares really about you, you know? Like, give people attention first, and then they'll care about you. Exactly. Right? Show people respect, they'll give you respect, right? Even, even the small thing, like remembering somebody's name. Like, people, like, oh, wow. Yeah. Like he cares about me. Exactly. Like as soon as you hear that someone like mentions your name in a sentence after you've just told them once, you feel like, oh, this person gets it. Mm -hmm. Even though I know about all the psychology stuff and like maybe he's just saying that to like, you know, uh, like so that I feel, you know, that like he's important. I, I still get affected by that human bias of like, oh, he thinks I'm important. Mm -hmm. Even though I know about all this stuff. Yeah. Right? Like he actually cares. Right. And that goes a long way. Right. Like asking people like, you know, what their aspirations are, right? And being genuinely interested, not like, yeah. oh, like, oh, what's your, what's your goals? You, know? you can't fake that shit. You can't fake it. Yeah, because you know? people can smell uh, inauthenticity a mile away. Mm -hmm. It's like something just feels off, you know, it's your intuition that picks up on that. Exactly. Like being genuinely interested in other people and they'll be genuinely interested in you. Uh, that goes a long way in all relationships, mm -hmm. right? And never thinking you're too good to talk to someone. Right, never thinking, like, even if you've achieved a massive level of success, you're not too good to, like, be friendly to service staff. You're not too good to be, you know, not talking to people who might not have the same level of success you do. Right. Right. Just be cool to everyone. 100%. <laughs> so, what, what were some of the other books that had an impact on you? Like, your, give me your top three books. The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. Mm. That was a really good one. Uh, I don't know if you've read it. I've, I've, I know who Eckhart Tolle is. I've never read the book. It... Pretty much just talked about being in the present moment, nothing about the past, and not thinking about the future. Right. Thinking about the future gives you anxiety. Thinking about the past, right? Makes you depressed. Makes you depressed, <laughs> exactly. So that was a very, even though it's a very simple lesson, he condensed it in a way where it was very insightful, and it made me start to meditate. Every day I meditate for 20 minutes. Still? Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. yeah, for about 10 years now. Wow. And that's made a massive difference in all my relationships. Because yeah, I used to have a lot of, uh, what's the word for it? Like, I used to have a lot of like social anxiety, just anxiety in general for no reason. Maybe it's because mm -hmm. of our phones or whatever. But I feel like most people have that, right? Mm -hmm. Like they, some of them are just addicted to their phones and they can't even like go up to people and say hi and be normal, right? right. And be present in that moment. Right. Right. They think about something else. Yeah. Think about this person judging me. Um, you know, what does this person think about me? All kind of shit. Exactly. And like, and I feel like if we as men, sometimes we're in our head too much. Mm. We think too much, right? We're not like women a lot of time where we're just like in the moment, <laughs> like, ah, oh, you know, and that's why women are so much better socially mm. than we are. Like they've had so many more social experiences than the average guy. Right. And we have to develop that most of the time, right? To have the same experiences, mm -hmm. right? So be going out there, talking to a lot of people from all walks of life, right? That's why I travel a lot. I yeah. go to third world countries, you know, I've been to, you know, like over a hundred countries, and wow. more, right? And go to third world countries, speaking to everybody, right? I've talked to like billionaires, to people that live in slums, right? Mm -hmm. And it's very insightful to be able to see how every single person lives. Right. You know? Everyone lives their own life and you can see how people can be happy with nothing and mm -hmm. how people cannot be happy with billions.
Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> so. that, that's actually the way it usually is. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, but it's only because billionaires and all that, like the ones that are unhappy, I, I've met a lot of happy billionaires too. Don't yeah. get me wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? That'd be sad if like, they were <laughs> yeah. all unhappy. Yeah, and it's not like they're all unhappy. Like you make a billion dollars, you're, you're going to be depressed, right? <laughs> right. But it, the ones that aren't happy, they haven't uh, done that work on themselves internally. Yeah. They were already sad to begin with. So it only it amplified their sadness and the depression when they got it. Yeah. You have to be happy with nothing so you can be happy with everything. Mm. Right. And that is the mindset you should have, right? Yeah. Uh, and back to your question about another book is uh, The Way of the Superior Man by David Data. Mm. I've read that probably 10, 20 times. And it talks about how to navigate the world and women as a man. Right. Right. And I can talk about a few lessons from that book. Sure. That was, yeah. What's some lessons for me? Uh, so pretty much it's, what's the main takeaway that I got from that book? Let me say. It was pretty much understanding that it, it was a lot of lessons that I didn't learn as a man from my father, I'll mm-hmm. say. He mm-hmm. never like sat me down and was like, hey, like yeah. as a man, like this is how you should be, all right? Like the main takeaway I got from that book was in life, your purpose becomes number one in a man's life. If you're a masculine man, your purpose should come first before everything else. 